Hello there, it's me, Yoshino Sar, and it's my extreme pleasure to welcome you all to the power packed world of public speaking. Public and speaking, they are two concepts, right? Yes, you are going to speak something in front of somebody or your videos are being posted in a group where different people are observing and noticing you right great today we are going to think about something different dear students have you ever thought how would it be a life without any games or activities? It would be monotonous, right? Marvelous. So dear students, today we are going to look at my favorite sport. We like different sports, different activities, correct? They might be some indoor games or outdoor games. I like outdoor games. What about you? So dear students, let's think about my favorite sport. Dear students, now I'm here with the mind map of the chapter or the video my favorite sport so dear students here is the first point now when you get a topic like this what you have to do you have to do a mind storming a brainstorming right yes we're going to do a brainstorming how are we going to do the brainstorming First and foremost, let's think about ideas or data. Now, the topic is my favorite sport. Now, you think about what's your favorite sport. So that is the name of the favorite sport that you have to mention here. Find out what is, the, what is your favorite sport. If I say my favorite sport, it may be cricket or football, basketball or volleyball, plus caroms or chess. We have got different outdoor games and indoor games. My favorite sport. Then you think, why do you like it? There might be a reason, right? Try to find out that. Then, say about your favorite player. My favorite player is Yuvraj Singh. Now, my favorite player, the current favorite player is Rohit Sharma. But there will be a player whom you like the most or whom you admire the most. I have already said it in the previous video, right? Great. So, you are talking or you are thinking about the favorite player or the name of the activity or name of the sport, okay? Then, do you play it for leisure? or just time pass? Or are you finding a future in this game? And dear, student, dear students, as I have said, just think about a life. You are always sitting in front of the books. You are not playing anything or you are sitting right in front of the television and you are watching the games. Oh, he has played well. Every time you eat something, you sit there just like this. 
it's not going to give you any benefit right yes of course you can watch the games but make it a point to play every day to find some leisure time leisure time that is free time okay plus these activities are or will relieve your stress correct yes so these are some of the ideas of the topic now whenever you are delivering your speech as i have said formal dress code is important so dear students make the point to present yourself in a perfect way so you are making a public speaking public you are coming in front of the public so dear students dress code is important now introduction to the topic you have already collected different data here right now based on which you have to frame an introduction so this is the topic and you have to frame an introduction to the topic a well made introduction okay followed by your explanation general explanation and you can personalize it as well now you are going to give a conclusion how are you going to give a conclusion with your opinion so your opinions are important here okay yes lay down your perspectives then i conduct everybody knows it correct i need to i need not to explain it much so try to have right eye contact and again and again i'm reminding you to use your hands so dear students go in front of the mirror practice it properly you will see your own expressions there in the mirror so that you can correct your own self okay then think about the grammar if you find any grammatical mistakes please do correct it and at last pronunciation and voice modulation so dear students try to have good voice modulation there are few students who just stand like this and says uh, or deliver the speech so fastly okay or so quickly it's not good definitely you have to use your hands and wherever you need to give the stress please do that so that your speech would sound better and look better and all the more you would you will have a good positive exposure dear students now i'm here with a small example okay small example of an outdoor activity all right so generally outdoor activities are very important as they keep us physically fit and strong so dear students i'm giving you certain examples so that you can develop a powerful and thrilling speech right now my favorite sport is cricket right we all do play cricket most of us especially boys right it doesn't mean that girls can't play you can play there are wonderful players my favorite female cricket player is mithali raj so you might be having different players right great now it's played with bat and ball this particular game called cricket okay then there will be 11 members in a team and a game generally a game is played between two teams you will be going or if you watch ipl ipl is going on now right so if you watch ipl you can understand that 
a team is playing against another team or any international games for that matter. Okay? Now, if you hit the ball, if you run between the yards, once you will get one run, twice you will get two runs, thrice three runs and if the goal touches in the ground and goes beyond the boundary, you will get four runs and without touching anywhere, if the ball goes beyond the boundary, you will get six runs. Correct? So, there are various rules or there are various norms in which we have to play this game. In the same way, you have got football or frisbee or kabaddi. They are all various outdoor activities or games. Dear students, now I am here with another example an example of an indoor game. Dear students, there are various indoor games like chess, puzzles, carom, etc. Right? So, my favorite indoor game is carom. We play carom board, right? Yes, I play carom with my family or friends. Not always, but at times. Now, when I play the carom, I usually play in teams because the person who is next sitting next or just opposite me will be my partner. Okay? And the other two will be sitting the other sides. For example, if I play first, my coins will be white and the other teams will be black. Now, if I finish the coins, I will be the winner or my team will be the winner, right? Yes. So, generally, it can be played as two teams with two members each and it can also be played for points. For example, you get red and the follow, you get 5 points, the white will carry 3 points and the black 2 points. So, the more number of points you get, you will be victorious, right? Yes, this is an example of an indoor game. So, dear students, today itself you can start preparing your speech, speech on the topic my favorite sport. You can take just one topic or the maximum of two and you prepare a wonderful speech, a powerful speech and send it across to your WhatsApp digital classroom and I shall respond to it. So, dear students, keep growing and keep improving. Stay safe. Bye-bye.